Here he comes. Not even hitting it. Well, don't keep going. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, that's, worse. that's why, yeah. Um, we're about two and a half hours north of Grand Rapids. Uh, it's just getting light, as you guys can tell. The first lake we came to hopefully ice fish. Um, it's not safe. There's about an inch of ice. We didn't even make it like five yards off the shore, and we're breaking through in less than like a full hit with the spud. So our game plan today is literally just to keep driving north until we find safe ice. We know it's somewhere up there because we've been seeing some posts from other guys, but we just don't know where. So the first one is a no-go, so we're just going to continue on north and hope to find a little tiny lake that's got some safe ice. So let's get back in the car and get after it. We're checking spot number two right now. It does not look even remotely safe. Nope. I don't even have to spot. Dang. Well, not the start we were hoping for, that's for sure, but we're going to keep at it. Luckily, we got an early enough start on the morning, so we're going to go try to find another lake that's safe. All right, spot number three. Oh, nearly a little hole. Well guys, no dice on lake number three. So, looks like we're gonna get back in the car and uh, get driving further north. Don't really have any other options. Okay. We drove for another 45 minutes further north and we think we might have finally found some safe ice. It's definitely the most promising so far. There's some tracks of guys that have been out before. It's a super tiny lake. How many acres do you think this is? 40, 50? Maybe. Yeah, it's basically a pond. Oh, it looks like someone fell through there, so that's good. Well, we got two and a half, three? Three inches. Three inches. It's just gonna be the edges that's a little scary. I'm not sure if there's fish here or what, or how the fishing is. Luckily, we got up here early enough. I've been up since like 4.30, so it's only 9.15 right now. So we got a nice long day ahead of us. So we're gonna get our gear out and uh, yeah, see what this pond, lake, whatever you wanna call it, has to offer. So let's get geared up. <sighs> okay, so we got all our gear out of the car. We're gonna be extra careful, take our time, spot our way out there, and uh, hopefully find some fish. I don't really know how deep it is here. We're gonna get this, mark them down. Definitely keep our spacing a little bit. Yeah, it's already 12 foot. Looks like there's Good weeds or spot. Bottom. That's not bad, man. Definitely got a spot pretty much everywhere we go here just to be extra safe and smart, but there's potential. I like that it's deep this far out. Yep, here comes one. Got him. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh. No way. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, we That's a big rainbow. <laughs> okay, guys, so we literally just got to this lake. Didn't even have a clue what was in here. I, that was a big end. Big rainbow, dude. That's insane. Listen. When they were skittish like that, I thought they might be trout. They, they, the two fish, that fish was suspended. I reeled up to him, and he came fired right up. Really? Oh, here comes one. Oh, dude, he's all over it. Keep, keep it jiggling. There we go. Got him. Oh. Big, 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 big. big rainbow. Yep, rainbow. Oh. I gotta get the hands dipped. I've wanted to do this for so long, guys. And we've literally been here 10 minutes, maybe. We didn't even know there were trout in this little lake. Dude, this is this is insane. I'm kind of speechless. I've always wanted to catch rainbows through the ice. Yeah, it's good. Just on a little tungsten jig. This is unreal, guys. We might have an absolute day. This. Oh, here you go, baby. Let's go, baby. Like we said, it's just, it'd be one thing if we knew they were in here, 
but literally we didn't have a clue. This is the fourth lake we've been to today. And within the first 10 minutes, we both hooked up in a big rainbow. So already exceeded my expectations. I always wanted to catch a rainbow through the ice. Hold on. All right, before we could even get back down, is he still on? Oh yeah, big rainbow. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my gosh, guys. Literally, I couldn't even get the GoPro started up after the last clip. Okay, guys, we got some pictures. We're getting this beautiful girl right back down. There she goes, dude. Oh, got him. Yo. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lift the thing up. Transducer. GoPro should be going. Yeah. Are you recording? Yeah. Dude, I was trying to get some Doritos. Oh, he's way over there. Oh, this is so sick. He's so slimy. Let's go. Dude, he came out of nowhere. I, we just looked at the We were literally getting Doritos, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like, oh my god. Here's a look at that. Beauty. Get her right back down to where she came from. Goes. Dude, it was so cool. The ice is so thin, you could like almost see her through it. And like, as you she was running around. You did? Yeah. Alright, guys, that's awesome. We're gonna get back down. Ian. Megan. You ready to grab him? What do I do? do it's I a go? trout. It's a big trout. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. It's a big trout. You think? It's a big trout, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's huge. Oh, he's gonna it was huge. At the hole, dude. No, rainbow. No. No. It's popped off. Dude, it's so close. Yep. You gotta get under him. Here, grab him. Grab him. <laughs> there, <geez. laughs> there you go. Coat's all wet. Get some shots. That's a good one. That's probably the best one of the day so far. Definitely nothing like the one I just lost. But... Yeah, this hole, I came out the hole hopping a little bit. It's definitely heating up. I've been out here probably five, ten minutes. Had that big one that I fought for probably close to five minutes. Lost him literally right at the hole. That one was a lot bigger than that one, but we'll take it. Here's one. He's all over it. No, he left. Oh, come on. He was all over that thing. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Ready? There he is. He doesn't feel super big. Oh, it's a largemouth. Yeah. First largemouth of the day. All the other ones have been trout. Here we go. Cute little guy right in the top of the mouth. Oh, barely hooked. See you, bud. Oh. A not so graceful release. No. Got him. 
big one. size, just not as thick. Now she goes. Alrighty guys, so it is one o'clock right now. Um, it's been a pretty phenomenal morning. We've caught either nine or ten total I think with one bass in there. Um, unfortunately I did dump the biggest one we hooked by far right at the top of the ice right as we were trying to grab them. That was probably, would you say 18 to 20, 22 inches? Somewhere right around 20 inches, so, and it was really thick. It had some shoulders on it, but there hasn't been too many cases where um, we see a big mark and a trout come in and then we can't get them to eat, so. Bite's been pretty solid. Uh, nothing to complain about there. We got um, about four more hours. I think we're gonna try to stick it out until dark tonight. We're gonna go back outside, hole hop around a little bit more, and see if we can't get on some more trout. Switching on to the Z Viber, I want to see if I can catch any on a little bigger presentation. And I wanted to show you guys what Northern Michigan's all about. We went to a local uh, bait shop and they sell their spikes in grizzly pouches. So it was a first for me seeing spikes in a dip can. But hey, welcome to uh, Northern Michigan. Got a fish on me right now. Ah, he came in hot. Yep, here he is again. Shoot, he's just kind of investigating. I don't know if I'll be able to uh, get him to eat the Z-Viber or not. I kind of expected him to eat this better than the little tungsten jig, but so far not the case. Just had two come flying up and then they disappeared. I don't really know. Oh, here he comes. He's all over it. I'm just gonna try to dead stick it. Dang, they're coming in, but they're not committing to the Z-Viber. Here he comes. There we go. Got him on the Z-Viber, finally. I don't know if the GoPro was going in time, but... Oh, he's not a bad one. It's nice to fight him on this rod. It's a little bit longer, a little bit more backbone to it. And I think this is four pound instead of two pound. All the other fish I had to fight on my panfish rod. Definitely not ideal. Ooh, pretty fish. That's a sweet picture. Right on that little Z-Viber. I think that is AYU color. Gonna get this pretty girl right back down. Off she goes. It's a thing of beauty. Dude, he ain't like a little pansy. Here he comes. Got him? Yeah. Oh! A dark one. Yeah. Ready? Yep, I'm on. Is he on? He's an idiot. Keep lifting him. Is it? Yeah. Ian says it's a big one. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's the best one of the day besides the one I lost, probably. Colors on this funky dude. Yep. Alrighty, guys, that is a wrap. 
on the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Neither of us had ever caught a trout through the ice. Um, that was definitely on my bucket list and has been for quite some time, so that was awesome to check that off. We totaled it up and it was between 25 and 30 that we caught all throughout the day combined between the two of us. So overall, it was a fantastic day. I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. Um, it's definitely special to do here in Michigan, not something that you come across often. So we definitely um, try to make the most out of that bite and hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm sure we'll be out on the hard water again soon and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.